All right, so we've got a problem. I think got a heifer that's calving, and she's been laboring at it pretty hard, being a bit vocal about it. Yeah, I've already checked it. Both feet are forward, heads forward, so just like we want it. I think things are just a little tight. She might be able to do it on her own, but we're going to go ahead and help her out with how hard she seems to be working. I'm not totally sure how long she's been going at it, but I've been watching her for about an hour since I started my shift. There she is. But we're going to try to come in real slow on her. I'm hoping to pull it right here in this pen. See that tongue twitching on its own? She almost got up on me. I've been talking too much and it's been making her nervous. If I can pull on this, get the calf to start coming out again, she might focus on labor. Kind of forget about me, I hope. Okay, see how that leg's twitching and pulling back in? It's a good sign. So, I'm just trying to pull in time with her pushing. I'm not gonna pull real hard yet. Calf's alive, so I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna help it kind of boost it through with her contractions. As long as I'm seeing a little bit of progress, I'm going to just use the handles. If it continues and we don't make progress, I'll get the big puller. You can do it, girl. Where I'm looking for the progress, each push, we want to see it come out just a little more. We're making good progress. Got a heifer trying to check my camera out. There we go. Okay. Two more pushes and that head's gonna come out. One. And you can do it now, girl. Two. There we go. What we're going to look for is the fluids to come out of his lungs. Right here, see that? Fluids are just coming out. This is the moment it squeezes out, and then he's going to start breathing for his own, himself. I've got to set the camera down because I've got to pull. This is an important moment. Ooh. Okay, he just took his first breath. I don't know if you could hear it on camera. Hey there, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're gonna get, get you pulled out just a little more. There you go. That's his 
second breath. Okay, now he's starting. His, his lungs are <coughs> starting to function. Come on, buddy. That's better. It just takes a little bit to get him going. Good boy. Right here, boy. Yep, boy. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's amazing how these calves come to life <clears throat> right after pulling them out. He's starting a little slow. <clears throat> he had a lot of pressure in there. That's it. Once I'm sure he's doing good, we're going <clears> to <throat> get these this calf around to his mother where she can look on him. So here I'll show you how I like these chains. When I pull, there's a way to wrap them double so they're not just pulling at one point. It's a lot easier on the calf's leg. But they're so slimy and slippery, you kind of need a chain like this to grip them enough to be able to pull them out. Now we're going to get this calf to its own little pen. Oh yeah. He's starting to breathe faster and better. Um, I kind of like this cow to get to, to see him and she's pretty tired. So we're going to just pull her pull him around to the front where she can lick on him and once she stands up and is going good off to his own little tent she might get up any moment here there we go. I'm going to back away. Good. Alright, we're going to wash the chains and handle up. She's starting to lick on them good. I'm going to take him off to his own pen. That's good. That's what we like to see. She's licking on him and that little moo, she's talking to him. Calf's already starting to look a lot more perky. We're going to get him off to his own pen. These corn stalks work amazingly well. We've got a lot of cows in here. <clears throat> we have to re-bed it every every couple of days we've got this many in um, but the corn stalks seem to really absorb a lot and then of course we try to get the calves out of here as quick as we can here we're going to use this calf hook that allows her to kind of follow the calf without me being quite over top of them really not not hurting them so we're gonna come into here pick an empty pen a good mom mm. company. So we're going to give it pen N. I'm going to hurry up and try to let her stay here. Go on now. Go on. Got one that stayed can deal with that. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Mm -hmm. 
You're a good mama. That's what we like to see. I like it when they follow right up close. Can you make the corner there, girl? You got it. All right, girl. I'm gonna slip past you. Try not to bother you too much. There you go. Got her in pen N. sweetheart just don't step on your baby there you go her number is k808 all right so pen n yeah k eight oh eight january 30th at let's say 645 we go by army time calving ease we're gonna give it a two I did pull it it was a first time mama so and it was a pretty easy pull. I was able to just use the handles. Here we're gonna say it's a black bull. Um, disposition was good. Two, we'll give her a two for average. So it's been just a little over half an hour since I last looked at that calf. I've got another cow calving and I've been checking on the other calves. Just took a quick look outside. Sun coming up. There it is. I figured you'd have it. You're being a good mama. So I'll be snagging that calf and getting it off to its own pen. But we'll follow up with that calf we pulled this morning here. We'll catch your number. It's like B203. That calf is up quick. He's still slimy wet. He's already looking for a meal. These are some of the calves that were born just yesterday. <coughs> Had twins in that pen over there, as well as a few others that have calved. And then we've got others that calved in the side pens. Definitely been fairly busy. Hey, girl. Hey there. You're a good mama. Seems like the calves that are pulled are a little bit slower to get going. Like you saw that calf we just went by that was born after this one. And it's already up and going, but that was an older cow, smaller calf, easy birth. And that's what we normally see, I'd say 90 plus percent of the time. But then we've got the ones we've got to help here. Um, he was in the birth canal a little bit longer, a little more pressure. He's probably going to have just a little slower start. All the cows that we've been watching for the night, we're gonna turn them out. Yeah. Gotta change just a few gates around. This is where the community pens 
where we turn out the the calves after they've they're going good and they've had a day or two in the barn. All right, girls, you can come on out. <clears throat> so I've got to go on ahead, set the gates up. Then we'll try to get an up-to-date count on what's getting turned out so that we know how much feed to mix for them. And over here we've got some cows that will be calving, but they're in a little bit of a later group. They'll really be kicking in probably in the 10 days or so. We'll expect a few early ones, so we are still walking through them and checking on them. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's not all of them. We've got to turn what's in this next pen out. I just kind of divided it because I had two of them calving and I was trying to avoid any mix up. So we'd made a guess. We just added a few more cows to that group yesterday. We made a guess and it was pretty close, especially considering we pulled a few more off that calf during the night. Some of these pairs are the young Angus, some balancers, and some scimitol, all young cattle, twos and threes. Um, they get their own community pens. I'm gonna follow these out here. So here we've got young Angus pears in this close pen. And then on the other side of that hay feeder and those freestanding panels are the balancer pears and the scimitol pears. And then from here, we're gonna be turning them out once they're going good and a week or two old, we'll be turning them out to farther pasture to make room for the next new ones. One of the things that we're doing is going around and making sure the calves all look healthy, see if there's anything sick that needs treating. We're gonna be moving some out this morning. Kids are gonna be saddling up and we sorting these bigger, huskier calves that are a week old or so. They'll be going out. They don't need the barn anymore. They'll have their own calf shelter. But they'll just be a little bit farther out where they'll have more room and can stay healthy. And we just need to free the closer community pens up for the, the younger stuff we're getting in. In the payloader now carrying this calf shelter over uh, to where we're going to set up for what we call the balancer group. There's Ephraim. He's catching the horses up. Kids are going to saddle up and they're going to 
be moving the pears out for us as we pick out which one's healthy and hardy and ready to go. All right, so I think we've got it all set up here. Got two calf shelters, windbreak, got straw bedded in there, hay feeder full, and we got some tires set out here. Going to be bringing the feed wagon out, and filling the tires up here soon. The kids are saddled up, ready to go. Okay, so where you're gonna go, you see the tires way out there. You're gonna take take the pairs out to there and to the windbreak that's just on the north side of there. Okay. Ooh, that little calf found some ice. Well, the balancer pairs are sure enjoying how we got them set up. Kids and I moved about 30 pair out here. Calves are sure enjoying the sun. That's just a little bit of what goes on during the day. There's so many other things that go on. It's and got the barn all fresh bedding in it. Seems like we have to do it every two or three days, but he cleaned it all the way down to the bottom this time. Started over. Had a busy day, had at least, at least 17 calves today. Used the horses a lot for pulling in. Didn't get much video footage of that except for a little bit of Ephraim. Ephraim's pulling his first one in. Cow follows real good. Almost every calf that is born during the day is brought into the barn on this sled using the horses. I'll be sharing another video later on about the horses and the whole process of how that works follow up on this calf. It's a couple days later. He's going to get turned out to the community pen. He's been doing well, been nursing on his own. All right, it's time to go. looking for her calf. Let's see what number are you? K814. There's your calf. It's right behind you. Right there, K814. There we go. Now she sees it. Now he can play with all kinds of other calves. <laughs> 